KYC number six, know your channel. We have an important update where YouTube is launching new content ID scanning in June next month. This will create a lot more third party matches and possibly strikes on your channel. So let's know your channel and keep your channel safe by following these tips. Let's go. Here is the official important update from YouTube help. The link to this article is down there in the description below. The key points are that starting in June, some creators will see more uploads matched against known copyright content. I'll get myself out of the way so you can see the whole article. To avoid getting these new content ID claims, it is so important as a creator that you make sure you grant or obtain copyright permissions and licenses for your content. That is the key, getting signed written permission for any content you are using on your channel that you did not create. If you're only making original content, no problem. But if you're using music or other people's videos, the safest way is to have a contract that establishes your right to monetize their music. Don't just take it from their SoundCloud page. Don't just take it from their YouTube channel. Reach out to the creator, get at least an email confirming you have the right to monetize that content before uploading it to your channel. And if you can't get in touch with the creator, don't post his content. It's as simple as that. Oh, but all these other channels are posting that content, so that must mean it's okay. No, that's how we've seen so many channels get terminated with that logic, thinking, oh, everyone else is doing it, so I can too. YouTube is not perfect. They catch bad actors, but they don't catch them all at once. They catch them a few at a time. And so never assume that if it's being done by others that it's okay for you to do it too. Otherwise, you just run the risk of getting an abuse event on your channel. Why would you do that? It's a channel you've built from the ground up and you're... It's your baby, so play it safe. Always play safe. Don't take unnecessary risks. Templated content is one of those new rules that many of you wanted to see more examples of because you didn't really understand what the line is between templated content, repetitive, unwanted, and just making a lot of videos about things you love. So here's another example of a channel we unlinked called Learn Colors Animals. Do you see the issue? It's the same model, the same bear, the same monkey. They just change the color and they make more videos with exactly the same concept. Let me play one of these videos so you can see what I mean. See? <laughs> Templated content! Normally this applies to animations where you're using some 3D model and you're just tweaking the colors or the shape and you're making tons of videos using the same models. Now, I don't mean like a Tom and Jerry cartoon, which obviously uses the same Tom and Jerry, because each of those cartoons has a unique script, has something different going on. It isn't the same content over and over again, like this kind of content, which is just bears walking endlessly with a uh, nursery rhyme in the background. Now, this doesn't apply just to kids' content. Of course, if you have a gameplay channel and all you're doing is playing Tetris over and over again and you're uploading... They are different games, but it's the exact same kind of game with no commentary, no difference. I call that templated content and I would advise you to stop uploading that. Two days ago, Lil Kurluk asked a very relevant question. So, whichever video you think is not good content should be deleted. Hell yeah, that's freedom! I understand where this frustration is coming from. You think we are telling you how you should run your channel. All we're doing is we're giving advice. As I, as I replied here, there is a line between a lot of videos and a lot of spammy, repetitive, and unwanted videos. Is this an opinion? Yes, it is! Is YouTube terminating or YPP suspending channels for this reason? Yes, they are! <laughs> Ultimately, and here's the key point, you decide what is right for your channel. We, or I, am just giving you information to make a better decision. So don't think we're trying to tell you how to run your channel. We're just sharing the experiences that, of the channels we've seen get abuse events, and we don't want those to happen to you, so we're telling you how we interpret different kinds of content, whether it's safe or not safe. And if it's not safe, we'll tell you. And if we really believe 
it is not safe and you're not listening to us, we will unlink you. Why? Because YouTube has strict new counts that they're holding every MCN accountable for the channels in their network. And if a channel gets an abuse event, it counts like a strike against us now. In the past, it didn't. Before March 2018, like almost three months ago, channels in the affiliate CMS, they had much looser requirements and much looser penalties for MCNs. Since March, the numbers have become very strict and the rules and the penalties have become very high. So that is why we cannot take the risk when after all the channels we've reviewed, if we feel a channel is doing bad things and has a good chance of getting an abuse event and the channel owner isn't listening to us, we unlink it. We just have to guys. These are the new rules of YouTube. This is the new YouTube. Every MCN is faced with the exact same problem. So that's why you're seeing a lot of channels from every MCN get unlinked to comply with these new strict rules. I hope this helps. Kratos Orion Plays also asked a very important question. So why are they verified then? Some of these channels where I was speaking of that got abuse events or we unlinked were verified. And why are they still uploading videos? So I want to be clear. The verified tick does not mean a good channel, although it should. It means, hey, you got over 100,000 subscribers. Good job. Here's your verified tick. So don't think that that little tick next to the channel title means that YouTube has put its stamp of approval on that channel. It just means it's grown to a certain size and after that it's fairly easy to get the verified tick. But you do need 100,000 subscribers. Some of you are saying, well, how come you have these small channels are running around with the verified tick? It's because in the past you didn't need 100,000 subscribers. You just needed the endorsement of the MCN to get the tick. So channels even with like 100 subscribers got the tick if we believed the channel deserved it. But then YouTube created a new rule, as YouTube tends to do, that said, if you don't have 100,000 subscribers, it doesn't matter how much the MCN endorses the channel. No is the answer until you cross 100K. Hope this helps. Arthur Moorhead talked about my energy level. He said, that's cool you brought it down a notch or two. It also appears that your thumbs up response has increased. And I replied, I read your comment in the previous video about how you prefer the fireside chat with George style and tone of commentary. So let me show you his original comment from that video. He said, I like the more serious side of this video instead of all that yelling. It sounds like you are talking yourself out of breath when you do. Almost to the point where it sounds like you're gasping for air. Am I too excited at these episodes sometimes, guys? Do you agree with Arthur? Please tell me if you feel I am crossing that line of becoming like like ADD, attention deficit disorder, where I'm just too excited, or if you feel it's an appropriate level of excitement and passion. I do get passionate about a lot of what I speak because it deals with you. You are our family. We are the Freedom Family and we help each other grow together as a family. That's from my heart. That isn't a marketing message I've memorized and repeat because it gets us more views. Guys, the videos on this channel don't get many views. Maybe a thousand videos, a thousand views per video now. I do this for the passion of helping you. And when I see comments, thoughtful, meaningful comments, good discussions in these, uh, in these comments, that's why I keep making these videos. So tell me if my excitement level is a little too high like Arthur did. How is this, by the way, Arthur? Is this better? What if we unlinked your channel by mistake? Like Kronos YT here. He said a week ago, my channel got unlinked. I have no idea why. I've been with Freedom for three years plus, and this is the first time anything happened. Can anyone explain? So, Kronos YT, I looked at your case, and that was a mistake. I checked our logs, and the reason your channel was flagged for unlinking was three takedowns. So, what's a takedown? A takedown is in your video manager, you'll sometimes see that your video has been taken down by a third party. Sometimes that takedown creates a strike, sometimes it doesn't. But the list or the number of takedowns goes into our consideration when we look for channels that might be bad actors. It's a one mark or one item in a long checklist of criteria that we look at 
in freedom. So our internal policy team did not understand the context of your takedowns. Can you email support.freedom.tm with the info about them? Now Chrono said, I have done, and all I got was a reply saying you're going to look and review again in six months. So it won't take six months, Kronos, but we do have to put you in a queue where we monitor your channel for some time before we can re-invite you. Again, this is all part of our playing it safe. Uh, with YouTube's new strict rules, we have to be very careful about content quality, and of course we will invite your channel back, just give us a little time to follow our own policies. Just like YouTube has policies and they follow them, we need to have policies and we need to follow them. We can't just <laughs> helter skelter do whatever we want like the good old days of YouTube and so we're trying to put on that professional uh, policy hat and we follow the rules that we set so right now as I mentioned freedom has about 6,000 channels in our network we used to have over a hundred thousand channels and almost 200,000 at some point in the past and we are building personal relationships, one-on-one -on -one coaching for every channel in Freedom, where a staff member in Freedom will call you, email you, ask you how you're doing, ask you, can we help, give you suggestions on how to improve your channel. This is what, this is the high-touch talent management approach that we are now adopting, we are moving to, and the team is still learning how to do this. We are doing outreaches starting this week. We'll do more next week. This is the first time we've taken on the role of a one-on-one -on -one coach. So please bear with us while we get used to this new way of helping you grow. But it's something we need to do so we really understand your content. If there's three takedowns, we really understand the context and we won't just unlink you because it looks like you're a bad actor like we did to Kronos YT here. It's a process, guys. I hope you'll understand and work with us as we go through this adjustment of freedom becoming your coach, freedom becoming your personal trainer, your one-on-one -on -one advisor, friend, someone you can reach out to, a human, not just emailing support at freedom.tm, which is what you've been doing up till now. Uh, you'll have a dedicated account manager who you can talk to, Skype with, uh, email, Discord chat with um, in the future. So how does this make you guys feel? What do you think about all these changes, this new content ID scanning in June? Are you worried about it? Do you like the idea of this one-on-one -on -one coach model? Tell me down there in the comments below. Let's have a meaningful discussion and ask your questions. We're happy to answer them and also answer each other's questions if you know. That is the spirit of freedom. And this KYC series really does help keep your channel safe. Click that eye to see all the episodes of KYC in case you missed any, where I go over specific examples of channels that we unlinked and channels that are doing well. You asked me to make more examples of channels that are doing well, and I'll do that in future episodes. And we have a freedom mission statement. Roll it! That's our current mission statement. We'll still tweak it over time, but let us know what you think down there in the comments below, the phrasing, the music, any ways that you think we can improve it, tell us. Who am I? I am your Papa George, George Coach, uh, George Sunpai, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom. I'm not wearing my Freedom shirt today, guys. It's all black for Freedom and the Freedom Family. And at this time when things are changing is the best time to show us how passionate you are for freedom. Connect with us on our forums, www.community.tm. Introduce yourself if you haven't already. Chat with us on our Discord server. The link is down there in the description below where you can collaborate with us. When times are tough, that's when it shows who people really are. That's when it shows us what you're made of and how much you value the community and the family of freedom. I'm still here, guys. I'm gonna be here for a very long time. I'm gonna be making these videos for a very long time. 
I don't care if the views go down to 100 or if they go to 100,000. I will put the same passion into this. Why? Because I love this job. It's not a job for me. And I love watching you grow. I also love watching my kids grow. So it's like babies and business growing together. For those of you who don't know, I have four girls. The oldest is eight, the youngest is one, and the youngest is named Daenerys, after Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. Yes, she's our mother of dragons. You guys have any kids? How's family life? Feel free to share down there in the comments below. So just as I'm helping my children grow, I consider you my extended family, Freedom Family, and I'll do what I can to help you grow and to keep your channel safe. All right, guys, till the next episode of KYC, keep safe, and you've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.